Hello guys and welcome to Every Node in Godot episode 2. Today we are having a look at animation player. So first of all we're going to create a new scene. So go to scene, new scene, click on 2D scene. And I'm going to rename this guy to floaty. Right click the floaty node, click on add shell node. I'm going to find the sprite node here. And click on create. I'm going to go to scene, save scene. And inside of the scenes folder, click create folder and type in float D and click OK and click on save. Next, I'm going to go into scenes, float D, right click the float D node, click on new folder and call this GFX. Right click the GFX folder, click on open in file manager. And in here, I'm going to copy in a nice little sprite of this blue guy. Can close this guy down. I'm gonna right click the floaty folder again and click on new folder and call this SFX for sound effects. Right click and open the SFX folder in the file manager. And I'm gonna copy in the sound effect we're gonna use on this guy. And now close this guy down. Next, I'm gonna right click here on the floaty node and click add shell node. And we're gonna find the animation player. And click on create. Then we're going to right click the floaty node again and click on add shell node and find the audio stream player. And click on create. And in the audio stream player, we're going to set the pitch here to be 1.7, a bit of a more cartoony sound on this sound effect later. Now click on the animation player here. Click here on animation to create a new animation. Click on new. And let's call this guy floaty and click on OK. And for this, we need to have a sprite loaded. So we're going to go here to our DFX and we're going to load in the float the sprite here. So drag and drop it on sprite and click on texture. Go here to transform and we're going to scale him up to be five by five. And also click here on the PNG, click on import, click on preset and click on 2D pixel. And click on re-import and it's going to be nice and crisp we can now save the scene so press ctrl s go to main click on scene here right click the main node click on instant shell scene click on floaty and click on open and we're going to drag out the floaty sprite here to the middle of the screen and press ctrl s and we're going to go to floaty again click on the animation player then we're going to click here on auto play on load. And we can set the animation length here to be two seconds. And if you click this button here, the animation is going to be looping. Next, click on add track, then be your curve. Then it says pick the node that will be animated. We're going to animate the sprite node. So click on OK. And there's a lot of things you can animate, but we're going to animate the position right now. And click on open. And click here on the curve icon. Then we're going to add in two keyframes. So right click and click insert key here. And over here as well. Click on the first node. We're going to set the value to be zero. And the time is going to be zero as well. So we start at the beginning. And on the second node here, time is going to be two at the end. And the value is going to be zero. Then we're going to drag these guys like this to the middle something like that as well so we get this curve going like this so he's first going to go down and then up back to the start position so if we click on play here now we're going to click on select and make sure that the main scene is the start scene so he's now floating here now Click on the sprite and click on animation player to bring it up again. Next, we're going to add a track here. I'm going to add the audio playback track. Then click on the audio stream player and click on OK. I'm going to right click somewhere over here and insert the key. Then click on this key. Then go to the SFX folder and drag in the hiccup here to the stream. Like so. And make sure you place this guy in somewhere in the middle here. 
Let's click on play. So this guy has a bit of a hiccup. The next thing we're going to do is write some code. So right click on the floating node and click on attach script. And make sure this is a C sharp script. Let's click on create. In here, we are first going to add these two variables. The first one is going to be the floaty sprite, and the other one is going to be a random number generator. And in the render method, we're going to call randomize to randomize a new start seed. And for the floaty sprite, we're going to load the sprite. So if you do like this, we can see that we can access the sprite we need on the node, like so. And we're going to add a method in here. And we're going to call it randomize sprite position. In here, we get a random number between minus 10 and 10 for the X position, and also a random number here between 1 and 10 for the Y position. And then we create a new vector 2 with these two values. Then we say that the float to sprite position is going to be updated with this new position. All right, you can save the file and go back to the editor. Click on the animation player. Now click on add track and click on call method track and pick the node that will be animated and the script is on the floating node so we click on that guy and click on OK then in here we're going to right click and insert a key here and right now we don't see these guys in here so we're going to click on cancel and we're going to click on build and if you now right click on the functions down here and click on insert key we will now find the randomized sprite position here so when you're using C-sharp scripts you always have to click on build first and after that, you will be able to access the script methods. So here, we're going to select the randomized sprite position and click on open. And if you now click on play. You can see that he's hopping around, having a hiccup. All right. As usual, you will find the code on my GitHub page. The link is in the description. Thank you guys for watching, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and see you in the next video. Bye for now.